Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. Today I'm reacting to Friends Season 2, Episodes 21 and 22. We are approaching the end of the second season, which is crazy and also very, very exciting. I have been loving Season 2 so far. I'm hoping there's some type of buildup. I mean, I know this is a sitcom, but I just thought that the first season started and ended in such a strong way, obviously with the focus being on the Ross and Rachel storyline. Now as we approach the end of season two, uh, you know, maybe it, maybe, maybe it's uh, putting too much pressure on the show. You know, I don't want to have those high expectations, but I'm wondering, will there be any type of culminating buildup with some dramatic events, or are we just going to kind of continue along some silliness? But I, I just, I have a feeling that based on the quality of the writing of this show so far, that something is going to happen. Maybe it'll just be the final episode, so I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. But I don't know. Those are just kind of my thoughts at this point in the season. Excited to check out more friends. As always, if you want to sign up to Patreon, you can watch the full unedited reactions and support the channel. It's the best way to say thank you. Thank you to everyone who has already signed up and generously helps out. For now, let's get into today's reaction. Friends, Season 2, Episodes 21 and 22. Hey, Monica, why are we watching the Business Channel? Good question. There was a stock with my initials, M-E-G, on it for two or three hours before it comes up again, but when it does... This is not worth it. I'm just saying. Okay, honey, you really need a job. <laughs> That's, that's the third sign. What? Half of everyone, I'd just like to say my hand. <laughs> that's much better than what I said. Everywhere I go today, I keep getting signs telling me to go see my father. Past a buffet. What? My father's last name. <laughs> Actually, I see what she's saying. She says first name minus the S at the end. Yes. You know what? I'm more and more convinced the more she's talking. Spinning chicken. His Indian name. <laughs> No, because I chickened out the last time. Now, now we've just reached the next level. This is amazing. Coincidences? I don't think so. Freaking wow. Freaking. My last hamburger. Oh, all right, that's it. Now I have to go see him. <laughs> Why? Hamburger. McDonald's. Old McDonald had a farm. My dad is a pharmacist. <laughs> I mean, the cleverness to even make that connection. Props, props. Phoebe is smart. This will be interesting, though, if Phoebe actually does go and try to see her father. I feel like it's going to be bad, but here's hoping. You're in our seats. Oh. Uh, Sorry, what? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Those are reserved. Is that supposed to be funny? Actually, I was just going for colorful. What's with this guy? What's with you? What's with, with you? You have no sense of humor. Losers. <laughs> Please tell me we have a fight. Please, come on. Liven up this place. Well, you drink if you wipe the blood off your mouth. What just happened? <laughs> I just took your hat. Like a five-year-old? Well, that, that, that is funny. Can <laughs> I have it back? No. <laughs> Who does this as an adult, can I just say? You're very funny. Kudos on that hat joke. <laughs> <laughs> just give him back the hat. Why should we? Uh, he bought it because he was feeling really down one day, so he got the hat to tune Chandler's face. Chandler, you Stop wanna... talking. Stop talking now. <laughs> Actually stealing my hat? You got a problem with that? No, just want to make sure we're on the same page. I can't believe this is happening. Come on. It bit. Aww. I have to cook in a costume and dance on the counter. $127 in the bank. Monica. Relax. That's rough. Beer. I don't want a beer. Who said it was for you? <laughs> <laughs> Joey, wow. You have to laugh at Savage. <laughs> when everyone had a rough day. You guys at the coffee house with my hat. Actual bullies, you know? As adults. Stuff isn't supposed to happen anymore. I know. Aww. Aww. <laughs> She's like comforting him. I have no one. <laughs> Chandler, Chandler, he does need a girlfriend. Where's Janice? Bring Janice back this episode. Forget it, it's probably stripped and sold for parts by now. <laughs> See, Chandler is clever, even when he's upset. Did my $127 in myself yesterday? Then I'd like to have a lot more than that today. <laughs> Put all my money in me. Monica, what are you talking about? Okay. You don't know the first... What's to know? Buy, sell, high, low, bears, bulls. <laughs> yes, Manhattan. I mean, this is me with my knowledge of the stock market. 
What are the good stocks to buy? Jeez. Here we go. Is she really gonna do this? My life, I'm gonna save. Hi, birth father. That reminds me of a great Sam Morrill joke. And into my biological father recently, I told my friend, he was like, is your biological father a good person? And I was like, if he were, I probably would not refer to him as my biological father. <laughs> Most people say dad. <laughs> no mayo. No, no, because mayo, that would make it gross. <laughs> Get the meat, the meat from the sandwich, Joey. <laughs> uh, don't tell me the dog is gonna keep her from meeting her dad, I swear. Okay, Ar all right, we have a problem. Go out and take his trampoline. Ar <laughs> I know what we can do. Ar hey, 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 no! Ar yes. No. Okay, doggy, Ar get the, get the sandwich! Ah! It didn't work. Doggy, get the sandwich. The dog will lick himself, but he will not touch your sandwich. What does that do? <laughs> He's just a little dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a horror movie appearance. A century 21 real estate agent to get to wear those really cool jackets. Do you say this stuff to girls? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, the you know, losers the are back. They're sitting. I swear, please stand up for yourselves. You call the couch, and then we'll call the couch, and we'll see who it comes to. <laughs> Why you two are still sitting here. All right, that's it. Come on, Ross. This is your moment. Gunther. <laughs> these guys are trying to take our seat. <laughs> <laughs> these guys were here first. Oh, sorry. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Gun that was easy. Hold on us? <laughs> you told on us? You are doing that's this. Nice little touch. This thing. I know. <laughs> Take this outside. Take this outside. <laughs> How about no? We're comfortable here. Looks like that. <laughs> People in old movies. Your ass talks like that. <laughs> They're really gonna do this in the coffee shop? We're, we're not gonna fight you guys. Ever show your faces in this coffee house ever again. Honestly, go outside and fight them. I think you played the Gunther card too soon. <laughs> It's just never going to happen, is it? Just think that this was a really bad sign, you know? I mean, like... Uh... Except for my grandmother. Face it, she's not going to be around forever. Despite what she says. That's true. A sister who I've barely spoken to. I want things to be, like, just right. Mm, yeah, I don't know if it's going to work out like that ever. Want to go home? Okay, thanks. Sorry again. They're so supportive, though. It's so cool. Careful driving. No. No, no, don't tell me they ran over the dog. What was that? That can't be what just happened. Listen, the threshold's clear now. They just pulled a John Wick in Friends? Bro. Time is money, my friend! Thank you! Okay, see, Monica, I love her just for that. Time is money. That is so true. Come down there and kick your Wall Street butt. <laughs> well, that's not exactly me, but I like it too. I had breakfast here, so technically I saved 350. CHP, because I used to have a crush on Eric Estrada. Is that a sound financial choice? I think it sounds sexy. <laughs> okay, that's where Monica and I are no longer the same. Get out before they go down. That is so not my motto. <laughs> How's the dog? Yeah. Okay, I talked to the vet. He said that the little fella's gonna be okay. And oh, okay. Oh, oh good. My God. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Relief. Only once in a blue moon does a dog's ear grow back, so. <laughs> oh, so, uh, yeah. I'm gonna meet my father over the phone. And what am I gonna say? If you want. I'll do it. Okay. Dang. Nice offer, Joey. About me, okay? That's so Don't. sweet of him. <laughs> Be too long with the phone. <laughs> once the market closes. <laughs> Don't talk to her. Uh, hello, Mr. Buffet. <laughs> what is that voice, Joey? Almost as good as new within... <laughs> Within 24 hours. This is Joey's acting coming through, I guess. Why the voice? Hard to say. 
That's such a Joey response, too. I can't believe they're bullied out of their spot. This is insane. No, it's not the same. Come on. How it's not mixing with the water? Stir and drink, never let it settle. <laughs> hey, this is ridiculous. Yes. We'll all have a nice cup of coffee, all right? No problem. Yes, yes. He's like their bodyguard. No. What do you mean, no? No, man, I don't want to have to have Joey with me every time I want a decent cup of coffee. Back down there and stand up to those guys. Okay, even better plan. What if we get beaten up? Maybe that's just something every man has to go through. Like a rite of passage or something. It's better than walking around, Lose you know, not living your again? life. Because <laughs> I think actually mine's growing back. That's really clever, Chandler. What? I gotta get back in the game. You lost everything? No, I lost it all, okay? I lost it. Oh, no, no. This is gonna lead you down a bad route. Yeah, where are we on the hundred bucks? I, I, I don't have it. But I need it! Otherwise, I'm gonna have to take that horrible diner job. Just keep looking for other jobs. Dancing and the, the costumes. <laughs> She's literally on her knees. I don't want to have to wear flame retardant boobs. Nobody does, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened to my dog? Ever heard a dog on purpose? She's a vegetarian. Hmm. If it's raining, you can't let him look up too long, because that cone will fill up really, really fast. <laughs> How do you know, Frank? Just from a, from a long time ago. Is he here? Is he? Yeah. Frank? Dang, are they really going to meet? What? What? I mean, Frank Sr. Will he be back soon? Four years ago, so we're expecting him back any minute now. <laughs> oh, dang, he doesn't live here. Wait up. That's the guy from Saving Private Ryan, isn't it? Nah, but he didn't really talk about anything, except stilts. What? There's my dad's head bobbing past the window. <laughs> he was always happiest when he was on his stilts. Yeah. Is he on drugs? What to do with that? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but Phoebe's not the most eccentric in the room. Well, this is huge. You can buy me beer. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> I had a friend named Pete. Then I could say, oh yeah, no, I know Pete. He's friends with my brother. I got a friend named Mark. That'll work too. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. We could talk or something, you know. Okay, I'm in the book. Okay, okay yeah. All right. In the book as a phone book? Look you around back and show you where he hit his head on the rain gutter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not her father, but it's some family. That counts as family, right? Thank you. I think we proved our point. <laughs> you burn your mouth? Cannot feel my tongue. <laughs> bullies, big bullies. Oh, here we go. It's the weenies. <laughs> Stand your ground. Yourselves clear the other day? Yes, we're standing our ground. Good. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right. <clears throat> we're really gonna have a fight? Come on. Serious damage. <laughs> can't use your watch or your keys keys and watches in the hat over there all right someone's gonna steal it come on man let's do it why wouldn't you hit faces well because i have to work on monday i have a big presentation good point no just no faces thing might not be a bad idea body shots only no head body head body or the waist down yeah that should just go without saying is that lady oh really you guys trying again yeah <laughs> Strictly talking about the middle. Come on! Hey, hey, Smith, so I'm standing here! Huh? Hey! I knew it, I knew it, I told you someone's gonna steal their thing. You know, just leave that out. God, That's that more of the set amazing. than we've ever seen there, right? It's kind of cool. Kick butt! Us, what about you guys? I wouldn't know, having missed everything. Uh, what do you mean? One of us could have tripped over that little girl's jump rope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chandler, it's okay. Are you okay here? <laughs> We're okay. All right. Okay. Wow. Turn the bullies into friends. No. <laughs> oh, don't even give me that. <laughs> that was a great fall by Chandler. Hi, Monica. <laughs> nice boobs. <laughs> oh, she's gonna dance now.
Oh, come on. This is great. Wow, that was a great moment with Monica, I swear. And it's so cool they all showed up in, to support. You want to be in charge of the food committee? Question two. Why do we always have to have parties with committees? <laughs> Pizzas and get some beers and ha have fun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, chill. Chill. Fancy parties are only fun if you're fancy on the inside, and I'm just not sure we are. <laughs> I kind of like what they're saying. Don't want it to be special. Fine. Oh. Joey, they're not real. Files <laughs> <laughs> beneath the surface of these things, okay? They're fake. <laughs> honk, honk. It's like porno for clowns. <laughs> How long is Monica going to be stuck at this job, I wonder? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, no shampoo. What? How come? She, uh, she steals stuff. You used to date her, didn't you? She doesn't steal stuff, and Joey just slept with her and never called her back. <laughs> nice interpretation there, Chandler. Hey, I liked her. Maybe too much. I don't know. I guess I just got scared. Are you playing the vulnerable card? Is this real? <laughs> I didn't think anyone would buy that, okay? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's the graduation from hell. Cousin went to hell on a football scholarship. <laughs> But no, they got into a huge fight in the middle of the commencement address. Oh. Stop and shush them. Oof. Yeah, that would be rough. I get to serve coffee for the next eight hours. <laughs> it's, isn't it just great when you have to start your shift after having like a bad day? Oh, oh did you ask Stacy Roth? Uh, can't invite her. A lot of people can't also come steals. to this party. <laughs> Joey's look. We're having birthday flan. Okay, that works. Excuse me? Traditional Mexican custard dessert. Yeah, you've never had flan? Happy birthday, Rachel. Here's some goo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is flan not common in New York? Oh my god, it's Rachel's dad. <laughs> oh. What are you doing here? What, the father can't drop by to see the daughter on her birthday? Well, normally, uh... Roommate, I can tell you that she's not here, and I'll pass along the message, okay? So, bye bye Oh, oh you're having a party! <laughs> I like how he said that, a party. Gathering of some people Rachel knows, Chandler and Joey. I'll never remember all of that. <laughs> <laughs> that is honest. Comes home, people pop out and yell stuff, is that it? Are you all right, sir? Hi, Mom. <laughs> I kind of want to see now. Can you come with me? We'll put your jacket on Rachel's bed. That sounds like a two-person job. <laughs> uh... Goodness, what was that? You know, I thought you were Rachel, and we just weren't ready for you yet. But I was Rachel. Uh, yes, because uh, you look so young. And nice. You know, white women. <laughs> <laughs> Should I put my coat in the bedroom? No, 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 no. no. Never do that. Thank you. Okay. Such a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> His face. Festival, the balloon. <laughs> Happened to me on the way here. I was driving. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> 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 laughing before the punchline. Oh, it'll be fun. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I mean, there's no way they can actually pull this off and they don't meet during the party. Mr. Green, over to your place. Absolutely. Um. <laughs> that's where the party is, you goon. <laughs> Just the staging area. Clearly in the wrong apartment. <laughs> Did, are, is it actually going to work if they do props to them for that, you know? And you, who you, are off to party number two. This is honestly amazing. This is what to do with divorced parents, man. Could you at least send some women to my party? <laughs> okay, they're coming. Shh. When you have two surprise parties. <laughs> Beautiful earrings, they're perfect. You can exchange them if you want. Hmm. Now I love you even more. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh, Mom! This is so great. No idea. Really? No, I knew. All right. Hey, everybody, there's food and drinks on the table. <laughs> Go across the hall. What? what? Right now, Joey and Chandler's go. Now. Just do it. Just do it. Don't ask. <laughs> How good is her acting? She's got to act surprised twice. <laughs> Both of them are 
here? Both of them? Both of them are here? This is the best they could do. Your birthday. This is your party. Who cares? I do. That's who. <laughs> <laughs> Two birthday cakes. Well, actually, just one. <laughs> Oh, I guess she doesn't like flawed. To Monica, she's on the food committee. I can't <laughs> watch you, Dennis, and stuck her tongue down my throat. I love this party. <laughs> you didn't really like that gray lamp, did you? Is that a volleyball question? Her tongue down my throat. I'm not even listening to you. <laughs> Good time to break the bad news. Hey, can you keep Dad occupied? Let's just stay clear of I'm the guy that's doing your daughter, and you should be okay. <laughs> And write down your most embarrassing memory. When you're not using the markers, you put the caps back on them, dry out. Organized FUD. How's everything in the uh, vascular surgery game? He does not look like he wants to be here. Not a game, Ross. A woman died on my table today. Oh. Thing about my job, all the dinosaurs on my table are already dead. <laughs> He's trying, okay. Placing them on, you want to push the caps. Oh, Monica, please relax. Gunther, where are you going? Next door. No, no, you can't go. This is fun. Come on, we're just getting started. Here's your marker. This is fun. If you say it angrily enough, it happens. Go, no, just go. No, she'll yell at me again. <laughs> Held hostage at a party. I can get you out. What? <laughs> In a minute, I'm gonna create a diversion. Oh, Phoebe, I can't wait to see this. I'll get it for you. What do you want? It's with your scotch on the rocks. Neat. Cool. <laughs> Does he not know what neat means? No rocks. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Ross. Now, where have you been? Hi. Uh... In the bathroom. Stay clear of the salmon moose. <laughs> <laughs> face scotch neat you know that's rachel's father's drink oh mine too isn't that neat <laughs> scotch neat <laughs> <laughs> you excuse me oh no does she know does she know after all this work hey hey where are you uh, sneaking off to mister hey my cigarettes out of my jacket no no, no. what do you no. mean no no See, cause that, that is- Oh, no, 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 no. Ruin the whole illusion of the party. <laughs> Cigarettes for you, sir. It worked. Alrighty, Roo. <laughs> I can't believe he did it. Well done. I want to say that for the first time. <laughs> it's okay, man. Monica, your party sucks. Oh, that's mean. Come on, that's mean. Who would do that? Don't forget to use a coaster. What? <laughs> this is the diversion? Yes, no coaster. That's genius, Phoebe. You know her too well. <laughs> I don't see anything. I'm seeing water rings again. <laughs> <laughs> Whose glasses are those? Mine. Oh, shit. Put them in your pocket, you idiot. I focus? Mm-hmm. Condition, apparently, that I No, put them away. She's gonna recognize them for sure. My husband has glasses just like that. Popular frames. Neil Sadaka wears them. <laughs> Who? I hear you can get people out of here. <laughs> <laughs> for a price. For a price. Start charging, Phoebe. Boyfriend smokes. Oh, uh, like a chimney. Oh. Ugh. Big smoke. No. <laughs> and fire up this bad boy. You look like a natural. <laughs> Are you wearing my glasses? Yes. Just warming up the ear pieces for you. <laughs> Is that one of my cigarettes? Oh, you know, sharing. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Yeah. He's not gonna take it back, is he? Moistening the tip. <laughs> Phrasing. No, only the three of you. Any more than that, and she'll get suspicious. Yeah, come on. Get my coat. There isn't time. <laughs> <laughs> you want out or no? Everything. They'll take care of you next door. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you've heard is true. <laughs> this is gonna be the best party of the show so far. <laughs> you! 
Oh no. And Gunther! <laughs> He's like guilty. He's like a dog gets caught or something. Welcome to the foe. Oh no. Bad timing. No, they work hard all week. They have to have a little fun. Go. <laughs> Just give it a chance. It's so lucky. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Careful whoever did that. That's a death stare. Obviously have a problem. A boyfriend exactly like your father. <laughs> I gotta go do a thing. Did you know your mother spent $1,200 on bonsai? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Rachel's face. Oh, Daddy, Daddy, it's... you know what? I really want to hear more about this. I really... It's too real. I just have to do uh, some, some stuff. You work and you work and you work and... <laughs> is his stupid boat. You work and you work... <laughs> My power play. <laughs> but when all is said and done, he oh, still brings out of the too mud. good. I swear it's too accurate. <laughs> Poor Rachel. Can't even enjoy her birthday. When my parents were getting divorced, I got a lot of tigers. This is it, isn't it? I mean, this is what my life's gonna be like. Not every second. Thanksgiving, Christmas. How did you get through this? The regimented program of denial and, and wetting the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend that route. Listening to them bitch about each other. All I kept thinking about was the 4th of July. It reminded you of the way our forefathers used to bitch at each other? Not because of that. Out on my dad's boat and watch the fireworks. Dad would be upset because nobody was helping, and then when we did help, he would scream at us for doing it wrong. But then when the fireworks started, everybody just shut up. We would all just sort of smush under this one blanket, and now it's. Ugh. I mean, it's not going to be the same. Yeah, I, I know. Pass off. Nice. Nice, Chandler. <laughs> That's really sweet, though. Okay, let me go check. Oh, all right. Coast is clear. Your mom wants to say goodbye. Okay. I swear, better not. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Okay. <laughs> Doing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ready for the water skiing. Come on, get her down. You guys are so close. Get her down. How are you? get my own coat <laughs> yes oh it did it really work wow wow oh no no you're not supposed to be here oh no no get out, Just get out. <laughs> oh no don't tell me phoebe's gonna mess this up <laughs> get her out guess we're going back into the hallway again thanks for coming mrs green Really? <laughs> Her body just goes limp. <laughs> the power of Joey's kiss. Are you for real? That is next level. Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> the best party I've been to in years. Thank you. <laughs> okay, everybody, it's time for fun. Gelatinous fun. I mean, that doesn't look like a great flaw. In. Stuff you get when you get a bad infection. Ew. Oh, don't say that. Like a special flan wish. Okay, I've got one. Do she wish for a different cake? <laughs> wow. Oh. Things almost never come true. <laughs> that was her wish. Wow. What an episode. That was a great episode. All right, so that is Friends, season two, episodes 21 and 22. Two really, really good episodes, especially episode 22. Really, really enjoyed that. One of the top of the season, in my opinion. Before we get into that, though, episode 21, we had bullies. You know, these jerks show up at Central Perk, and that was a fun storyline because, you know, it's not like things like that don't happen when you're an adult or, you know, 
people just try to be aggressive in such an adolescent way. That happens, especially if people are drinking, you know, or you find yourself in a weird situation. There's weird people out there. But it's not what you expect, right? You know, you go into your normal hang. You don't expect another adult man to confront you and do something like steal your hat or kick you out of your seat. You know what I mean? So it is kind of a funny, awkward situation because, you know, you're just not normally prepared for that type of physical dilemma, I guess, when you're an adult. So I, I, I appreciate the kind of awkwardness of it. And it was amusing seeing Ross and Chandler, you know, realize that they needed to stand up for themselves. And that was the better route. Um, but it's still, you know, I get it. You're showing up to your coffee place. You don't exactly want to act like you're in some Western movie and you have to box your way out of it just to relax and hang out. And then Monica, you know, Monica, I, I do appreciate how we're kind of continuing. We didn't just forget about that. The fact that she lost her job, you know, obviously this is... You know, this show is generally a form of escapism, but I like when some of those real life issues come up more than once because it helps the relatability of the show and it just helps you connect to the character. So the fact that that's still a struggle, something she has to deal with, is just cool to have that go on. And then, you know, at the end of the day, she had to take a job that she clearly does not want. And similar to Joey, kind of, where he was at this spot in his career, then he has to do something that he feels is beneath him and that is not at the level that he was. Monica is going through something very similar, which is just a reality. You know, I, I, I relate to that so much. I think 99% of people do. Anyone who's worked jobs that are not fun jobs and jobs you did not want to go or jobs you even felt where you were better than, like you were overqualified or you could be doing something else, but you just couldn't land that job. You know, it's not like the job market is 100% fair. How could it be? But at the end of the day, you do just have to kind of put your head down and do what you need to do until you make enough to continue on in life. I mean, that's just the reality of living as an adult, as unpleasant as that can be sometimes. But I, I respect Monica more um, I feel like she had that short stage denial where she's trying to invest her savings. But at the end of the day, she did what she needed to do. She took the job, and I'm hoping later in the show she gets a better job that she's much happier at. But that's just something you got to go through, you know. And that is why her parents, you know, not to be too old man energy here, were encouraging her to save, you know. Like, it is important to save if you want to avoid situations like that. But episode 22... That was an excellent episode. Possibly the best. I mean, I'm trying to think of other contenders. The one where the heater broke was also a really funny episode. But this is probably my favorite episode. It took a route that I did not expect. It really made the focus centered in on one event. And I feel like those can oftentimes be my favorite type of Friends episodes. Not that the A and B storyline formula is bad. But sometimes I really enjoy seeing all the characters together in one central story that just goes on and on. It was very just, just the, the setup was genius, you know, to have your div recently divorced parents both come and the fact they have the dual birthday parties and then it just, I love the twist on top, like that's already a fun premise, but to add more to it, we have Monica, you know, being a little bit too Monica right now and ruining the vibe for people who just want to let loose and dance, you know? <laughs> and Phoebe like sneaking people out I just ah, oh, all those factors came together there were so many different components and then on top of that what I really thought was hilarious and just so interesting too is f focusing on Rachel throughout that situation right like here it is her party her birthday but I feel like this can oftentimes happen when there's a event or something centered around you sometimes it's not about you or it doesn't make you happy it makes other people happy yeah i don't know if i'm saying that very well but i guess it just on, on a certain level it makes sense that rachel should be having the most fun since it's her birthday party but somehow ironically and similar to life she's having the least amount of fun at her own birthday party i feel like and just the scenes jennifer aniston i feel like the last two episodes she just had some great just looks, you know, like no, not a comedic line, not a quip, you know, not some Chandler cleverness. Just the look on her face and her reaction from that expression was priceless, especially that whole sequence where she's going back and forth, like listening to both of her parents complain about the other one. And it's just draining the soul out of her. And it just has to go on and on. I really appreciate that. That sequence was a little bit different than the normal, you know, way that the rest of the show is filmed. 
And then I thought it all led to kind of a nice, sweet moment with Chandler and her outside. And, you know, I liked how he was able to be sincere. Chandler's always joking around, but he actually was able to comfort Rachel, not by, like, giving her advice. There's no easy way out of a situation like this, but just by being able to relate to her. You know, he's been through something similar. He gets it. It sucks. He can hug her as long as he needs to until he passes her off to Ross. I really thought as well by the end of the party that the parents were going to meet but thanks to Joey's kiss, we avoided that. I thought that was a great way to end the joke. And I actually like how they didn't meet. They pulled it off successfully. It was kind of satisfying that all that effort wasn't for nothing. But that, that was just a great episode. It was really funny, a little bit different. I felt like there were so many different factors that were interesting and amusing going on all at once. I mean, I love how Ross makes a bad impression on both his potential mother-in-law and father-in-law at the same event while trying so hard to help salvage the situation for Rachel you know what I mean like that's just such a Ross circumstance to get himself into but really really enjoyed the episode both of them are very very good had a fun time with them hope you enjoyed this reaction as always thank you to all the patrons who support for the full reactions and future reactions I do appreciate it and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero